Welcome back to my channel, The Candy Guy, where I talk about treats for the sweet tooth. Today, I'm going to talk about bubble tape. The Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape was introduced in the late 1980s by Wrigley's, the gum company. I tried to narrow down exactly when the bubble tape was introduced, but all I could find was a patent from Wrigley's, or their full name, William Wrigley Jr. Company, in 1987 for the bubble tape idea, and then I found an article from the New York Times talking about Wrigley's introducing the bubble tape gum in 1988. So it happened somewhere in 1987 or 1988, the introduction of the bubble tape. <laughs> so what was the inspiration for the bubble tape? Well, an article I found stated the obvious, scotch tape. <laughs> that was its inspiration. I want to mention that there was a piece of information on Wrigley's website that confused me. It stated that they acquired the bubble tape in 2003, which is weird because they were the ones that patented the bubble tape idea in 87. So I'm assuming that they took over full production and manufacturing of the bubble tape from one of their subsidiary companies. That's my assumption, but I could be wrong. Marketing for the bubble tape was big in the early 90s. There was a tagline, if you grew up during the 90s, you know it. It's six feet of bubble gum for you, not them. Them meaning adults or people that just don't like bubble gum. I'm showing you up a close up image of the bubble tape container. I see most kids, they just burst this thing open. Most people just bust it open. But there's little tabs that you peel to make it so much easier <laughs> to open. Mmm, bubble gum. So you open up the bubble tape, unroll it a little bit, and cut off the piece that you'd amount that you'd like, and then reseal it, and it cuts the piece for you. Here we go. So I want to share first my main complaint for the container is the bubble gum doesn't spin that easily in the container. You pretty much have to turn it manually. I figure as you get closer to the center maybe it does spin a little easier as you're unraveling your bubble gum. But yeah, it doesn't roll very easily like scotch tape. <laughs> now the bubble gum itself there's not much to it. It just tastes like bubble gum. To me, it's not that sweet, but for others, it might be. It's just an enjoyable gum. The uh, flavor mm, doesn't last too long. Oh, it's been a little easier that time. Here at the Penny Candy Store, we always try to carry bubble tape. I wanted to show you the other two flavors that come in the box, but they're already sold out. Kids just love their bubble tape. So <laughs> all I have to show you is the bubble gum flavor. If you love bubble gum and you haven't experienced bubble tape, I suggest you should. It's a fun little container and you have a large supply of bubble gum. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's video of The Candy Guy. Links for the Penny Candy Store and myself will be in the description of this video. I post videos every Friday, so I shall see you all next Friday. Have a sweet day. Bye. Please remember to hit like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and also share if you'd like. Also click the links. Thank you.